Don't miss this year's Grafton Apple Festival, Sunday, September 30th. Bring a few apples, hang with New Hampshire Freedom Folk, and crank a vintage cider press. Details are at peacefulassemblychurch.org. But there's ways to uh, communicate with the police in these like intimidating situations. I, I don't want to be audio taped. You I'm going to videotape refuse. me, but I don't want to be audio. You can arrest me then. There's ways to communicate that are both respectful and assert, um, assertive of your uh, state and federal rights. And um, you know, uh, most people who uh, get convicted of DWI get convicted because they do the field sobriety tests, which is just completely waiving your Fifth Amendment right. You don't have to do those on the side of the road. That's just incriminating yourself, but once people figure out they don't have to do it, as most defense attorneys tell them, then they don't get convicted anymore when they drive drunk, which is obviously a double-edged sword, but um, it's not really easy answer to that. I mean, if I'm driving down the street right now and a police car is behind me, I might get a little nervous, but it's just part of, uh, part of being human. Uh, any other questions? Hi there. It's not exactly a question, it's kind of a, a point that goes along with yours. I heard a good quote uh, somewhere, I don't remember exactly where, it just says, never argue with an idiot. People watching can't tell the difference. So, um, especially when, when activists begin to videotape themselves, you want to be the most respectful, the most calm and rational person around, if possible. Just wanted to get this on film. It's something I've never seen before. An accident? Not with the law enforcement and the lady rear-ended him. And especially because most law enforcement off, uh, off people are good people, and they're just trying to do their job. You don't shut up about false arrest. You do not shut up about abuse of rights. You do not shut up about violations of the Constitution. And anybody who does is a pussy. So if you start to get defensive and start to rant about, you know, this is this. These are the laws. I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, just you, you got to remember that you're you're sometimes hurting your own cause because when you show, show this video on YouTube, and if the the police officer is being calm and respectful, and you're ranting and jumping up and down, you look like an idiot on on the on the internet. And if you if you can keep yourself calm and stay polite and be a, be a very boring person to watch, then if, if the officer starts misbehaving, it's very clear who's in, who's in the wrong at that point. Yeah, I mean, there's there's just so many examples of uh, of people getting into interactions with the police, and then those videos being played, and uh, the people who set out to accomplish something in the first instance look like an idiot because you know most people think that the police do no wrong, uh, and. You know, the police do a lot of good, but the police also do a lot of bad with enforcement of victimless crime laws. But um, to, to take the approach, uh, how you approach a situation obviously will reflect on how it's, how it's returned to you. I believe, I believe very much in karma. Like, you guys can give me crap about that later, but I believe if you treat people well, uh, you treat people well that, you know, it comes back to you, you know? As Jordan Page says, treat every man as a friend. Yes, sir. I like your shirt. Thank you. Um, I had a quick question for you. There's a video out there, and many of you may have watched it. It's called, uh, on YouTube called Don't Talk to the Police. It's about, a lawyer goes on a 20 or 30 minute rant about how talking to the police can never help you. During the uh, video, he asked the cop that he has there at, um, a question. This cop's the other speaker. The question is, um, in your years of experience of law enforcement, have you ever found someone who was... Uh, who, who you suspected of a crime and thought they were probably guilty of a crime, but through their um, skill of finesse and persuasion and talking to you, you decide, oh, I'm going to let this person go. So you're asking if I've ever been duped? Does talking, talking to the police ever benefit somebody? Yeah, um, but you've got to know how to talk to the police because if the police are investigating you and they're talking to you, you've got to remember that the police and the feds aren't your friends when, they are conduct when they're doing their jobs. Anything you say is going to be used against you. Any lies you tell can get you prosecuted. So you have to not necessarily tell the truth, um, 
but also definitely not lie. So you don't have to you don't have to answer questions you don't want to, but you can still be like, well, you know, with all due respect, um, isn't it true that you know I have the right to not answer questions? And I don't mean to disrespect you, officer, but I just don't want to give you things to write down in your report to use against me to prosecute me. So, you know, I, wouldn't you tell your friends not to give information to the police? I mean, the cops that I know openly admit that they tell their police how to, how to uh, you know, they tell their friends how to uh, avoid getting DWIs because, you know, keep the window rolled up, rolled down this much, you know. So cops look out for their friends, but, you know, they don't want to look out for everybody because then it would not be so great on the enforcement level. Grafton Apple Festival, Peaceful Assembly Church. <laughs>